Imagine being in the Devil May Cry universe and you are equipped with manufactured weapons like the Red Queen or the Blue Rose, but they actually only add to your power, like the Devil Breakers. Feels good. So let's get into it. In Devil May Cry 5, Nero has his Devil Bringer arm taken away from him because it has the Devil Arm, the Yamato, hidden inside it. Throughout the entire game, Nero is equipped with what are called Devil Breakers that are manufactured by Nico. Whoa! If you have been living under a rock and haven't played Devil May Cry 5 yet, we know that Nero and the rest of the Devil May Cry roster go to fight Urizen and all of them lose, including Dante and Devil Trigger form wielding the Sword of Sparta. But when Nero comes back to fight Urizen, he does what no one at this point was able to do, and that was actually cause damage to Urizen. While I don't want to directly point to the Devil Breakers as the reason on why this was able to happen, I do want to get into what they are. And with Nero's ability to use them with his Devil Trigger by the end of the game, he has a lot of utility. So we have Overture. This is the first Devil Breaker that Nico creates. In Devil May Cry Before the Nightmare, we learn that Nico receives the idea on this Devil Breaker after Nero defeats a Blitz Demon in Fortuna which is a lightning fast demon and is able to shoot lightning at its enemies. Nico uses the Blitz remains as a reference to help her on how to control the electricity in a similar way that the Blitz does. More on Overture itself, this Devil Breaker with the electric generator inside, it will shock its enemies in front of it. Here is Helter Skelter. Nico notes that she received this idea from a slide that was in a park near her house when she grew up as a kid. As for the purpose, it concentrates all the power into the tip to literally drill into its enemies. With this, it has great precision, especially for someone like Nero. In game, it's great for breaking through the armor of stronger enemies. Then we have Punchline. I'm joking. This was created with inspiration from the demon Nero fights at the beginning of Devil May Cry 5, Goliath. This demon's stomach is also a huge mouth that is able to eat all sorts of objects, then spit them back out with devastating force. As for the punchline itself, it was designed with a propellant combustion mechanism inspired by Goliath, and is able to provide a rocket-powered punch. Oh, and Nero can literally ride and fly it around. Gerbera. Nico claims that this was inspired by a bed of flowers, specifically African daisies, which seems out of character for Nico, but hey, if it's true, then it's awesome. This Devil Breaker generates a very intense heat that comes out all at once and produces a shockwave. Nero is able to utilize this mechanic to help him move through the air as well. So, the Tomboy. This Devil Breaker was originally created to help power up the Red Queen or the Blue Rose, but Nico mentions that the Tomboy itself has so much power that its purpose changed. If you haven't seen its power, here you go. Rawhide. This was made from the underworld metal that was received after defeating Gilgamesh. With this material, it can pull enemies that Nero normally wasn't able to pull with his wire, along with the ability to use the underground material wire to slice up enemies around Nero. It's great for AoE attacks as well. Now we're getting into next level Devil Breakers. Here is Ragtime. It bends the laws of space and time. This was used from the demon Garion, which has this exact ability. When equipped, Nero is able to shoot a blast at his enemies, and if they are caught in it, they are significantly slowed down for Nero to proceed to combo or taunt his enemies as they are caught in the radius. Take your time. 
Buster Arm. This was made specifically with Nero's Devil Bringer in mind, as he was originally able to slam enemies into the ground. Before the end of the game, this is useful, but after Nero unlocks his Devil Trigger form, this Devil Bringer quickly becomes obsolete. Mega Buster. Pretty sure this one doesn't need much of an explanation, as it's a Mega Man Buster. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Nero is able to use Mega Man's Mega Buster and can charge it up to do devastating damage to his enemies. Check it out. Now that we know what Devil Breakers are out there, how can Nero utilize this with his kit that he has by the end of Devil May Cry 5? If you don't know just how powerful Nero is, make sure to check out my How Strong Is Nero video where we get more specifically into that. Continuing. We know that Nero is very different in his utility compared to how Dante and Virgil like to fight. Being able to constantly grab enemies like he did in Devil May Cry 4 is obviously great for his range. But being able to combine it with things like the Blue Rose, charge shots that are empowered magnum shots with his demonic power, then adding it with something like Ragtime with Tomboy to completely devastate an enemy with only long range attacks is pretty insane. Or if you want to think close up, obviously yeah. Nero can utilize his Devil Trigger form and abilities, then his Red Queen is great, but add in the punchline to force his enemies to either counter it, evade it, or just straight up get pummeled while fighting Nero himself is a tall order for anyone in the Devil May Cry roster. Then we have great area of effect combinations where Nero usually lacks it with Gerbera being able to expend all of its energy all over the place. Along with Rawhide for a closer area of effect attack, then his Devil Trigger wings to go to town on enemies. I can't wait to see what comes out of everything with Devil May Cry 6's story. I can only imagine the demons that Nero encounters and with Nico only getting about a month's time to come up with all of these devil breakers, she is going to craft up some great things. I mean, she came up with DMC 5's most OP manufactured weapon and that was Dr. Faust. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel. I appreciate you and I will see you in the next one.